How's it going everyone? So I built this little coil here yesterday. It was a lot of work actually. <laughs> it does work really well, but uh, when I get to driving it at the voltage I want, it actually arcs over down in here. So I'll have to give that some attention. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do there yet. There are a few things I can do to remedy that. Um, I did hook up a second bridge. I never did bother to try and charge the caps. Puts out like 1,000 to 1,500 volts, as low as 500 volts, depending on the range that the device is running at. Off the second bridge with, uh, with this meter, which I think I might have fried it, but I'm not surprised. So there's a few things I'm going to show you here. I have uh, simplified it so that there's less parts to fail. I took this out because uh, it gets hot it works better with it but it gets hot and it will fail so the device actually runs on a little less power now with this removed i also removed this spark gap i had a second spark gap going to the earth ground we got rid of that and we got rid of that and we're down to 1500 volts here everything works really well and uh, i guess we'll demonstrate that to you um, now, when it's running, if I uh, remove the second earth ground, it completely quits. Uh, it still runs in its high frequency uh, resonance operation, but the disruptive discharge completely stops. Okay, so there's 25 watts. We have no spark gap on the earth ground on the high side here. No spark gap on the midpoint grounding. You can see that we are disruptively discharging through this coil. This spark gap is running. Hard to see, but it is. Uh, most amazing trumpet wave in um, this configuration. There's a lot less. Uh, it's a lot less difficult to achieve a tr trumpet wave. So we'll turn this down. So you can see the w the wave. Okay, so now we're not even sparking. We just have a resonance wave. There's no trumpet on there. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit more. I don't know if I can. Anyways, there's no wave, just perfect resonance. So we're putting out, you know, so many volts there. Obviously not quite 1500 volts at the peak because it's not jumping the gap. We're using about five watts. So I'll turn it up to where it just starts sparking. Just starts operating right there, about 8 watts. You can see the disruptive discharge modulating this, creating the trumpet wave. I'll turn this back down, possibly. Pretty hard to see there because it's so slow, so we'll turn it up again. 25 watts, you can see the trumpet wave. The kind of wave you'd probably want to have. Pretty awesome trumpet wave. Great. All right, you can see those are just screaming. This sparks too. There is power here on this coil if you're wondering it's disruptive discharge it does uh, there is power coming out of there that's the original uh, pancake coil that I was experimenting with uh, this disruptive discharge does not reflect on the source like at all I can short it out it does not change the input or operation of the device um, earth ground, I pull this earth ground off, completely stops. Minimal, minimal sparking. Uh, disruptive uh, discharge. I put this back on and it functions just awesome. 18 watts without it, barely going. Put that on. We're back in business. Take this one off. 
16 watts. Just the slightest bit of resonance, almost nothing on the scope. Put this back on. Comes back to life. All right, 25 watts with the uh, unit configured the way it is. That's maximum power, 26 watts, full bore. Cannot pull anymore. Uh, seems to work really well. So, uh, for the most part, I think this is pretty much optimized for the least amount of parts to fail. There's really only one spark gap right here. One diode right here. And uh, the rest is the output. Two bridge rectifiers and two neons. That's it. Uh, that's about the best arrangement I've been able to get. Uh, beautiful wave. Alright. Ciao.